Maureen Whitehouse, and I want to thank you for watching my videos. I've been a spiritual teacher and a miracle mentor for over 20 years now, and I'm really passionate about showing people like you how to experience more miracles in their lives. So if you get anything from this video that helps you or speaks to your heart, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's make this a more miraculous world together. How can I keep from feeling negative when in the midst of challenging times? My husband is in the hospital after an accident at work and I have three small children. I am overwhelmed and feeling scared. Well, so first pay attention to those emotions. We're not talking about discounting emotions. We're talking about honoring them and respecting them. So I love that you're being candid enough to say that you're feeling scared and overwhelmed. Well, take a look at that scenario. Any human being on the planet is going to see that that's something that would promote in most people a, a fearful emotion or at least a, a little bit of unrest. You'll be surprised. This is where you want to call a miracle to bear. This is where you really want to experience a miracle. And you'll notice that when you can experience a miracle first for you, this is not as much about your husband because you're in your own physical body right now. Your whole experience of your whole soul's world after world after world that you've experienced within this soul's space knows exactly what you're here for. And the scenario of your husband being in the hospital and you having three small children is part of this. It's all happening for you in your best interest. Your soul knows how to perceive it this way. Your soul knows how to make the best of the situation. So it will feel peaceful even in the midst of this. So if you're feeling scared and fearful, then that means that you're looking at the outside world and making that your reality. In A Course in Miracles, it talks about the outside world as not being real. This is the reason why that when you start to focus on the soul's perspective as your reality with the capital R, it's going to show you how the outside world is, can be very malleable. The soul is that powerful, that its love can override any fear, any fear, anything that makes you feel uncomfortable or scared. So it means, and it might be the hardest time to do this, but there's no better time to do this, that you're going to have to go inside you're going to have to relax for a moment. You're going to have to say, help me. That's a great prayer at this time. Because it's not, it's short and sweet. The divine can read your heart of hearts. It also knows your entire experience. It knows your husband's entire experience. It knows every doctor, every attendant, every nurse's experience who's going to be around your, your husband. It knows your, your children's lives and their life's purpose impeccably. It knows how to take care of everyone here. In fact, it's the only being that knows how to take care of everyone here. But it's, it's intimately connected to everyone else's soul in this, in this scenario. So you want to sit back and be able to see a bigger picture, a whole picture right now. And you want it to be win-win. You're requesting it to be win-win because that's the perspective of the soul. So this isn't a, ret a, a big stretch or a reach for the soul. This is the soul's way of being. And once you can feel yourself sinking into this, it's going to feel like a maybe bizarre that in these circumstances, you could feel this peaceful. I'm going to tell you, it will kick in if you, if you follow what I'm saying now. Just move into this space where you let yourself sit back and let the soul move forward and begin to say to yourself, look, I have two eyes. I see two, I see a world of duality of this and that. I see my husband there in the hospital. I see myself here. I see my kids here. I see this world of this and that. But I know I have a divine eye that sees everything as one, that sees everything in oneness. And I'm going to sit back and let that divine I, that self of me that's divine, take over now. And I'm going to ask you now to take over so substantially that the only emotion I can feel is peace. Maybe it seems unreasonable. I'm not using my mind here now. I'm letting myself surrender to my heart. I'm letting myself stay within myself and not view this outside circumstance it's so scary to me. I'm, I'm not feeling strong enough to do that. I don't have to shift my mind about that. I can leave that alone for now until I allow myself to go inside and just love myself so much that I let the soul take over in loving me. 
I need do nothing. I let the soul take over in loving me so well now that all of a sudden, unreasonably so, maybe, I just feel peaceful. It's the peace that passes all understanding. You allow yourself to get into that space, and I promise you the divine will show up if you allow yourself to get into it. The divine will meet you there. It will meet you there. Just get into that space where you relax and let the divine come forward. And then when you feel that peace, and you'll know because it's so unusual to feel it, that this is the divine. In those kinds of circumstances, it's unusual to feel it. Not, not always unusual to feel it once you start connecting to this on a day-to-day -day basis. But when you connect to this peace, just sit with it in this space where you feel I need do nothing. And let its own voice start to arise within you. It could be a gut hunch, you know, call this doctor now. It could be something that says, just do nothing now. Get in, cuddle in bed with your kids tonight. Just relax and have the first night's sleep you've had in a while. And don't feel guilty about that because your peace is foremost in this. Somebody has to lead the way based on peace, not fear. And the outer world does a lot of micromanaging based on fear, even the most well-meaning physicians and the most well-meaning attendants. So if you can be in a place where you know the next step you take, the next movement you make is coming from this peace that passes all understanding. It's kind of unreasonable, but I'm feeling so peaceful. And the voice just tells me to go here and do this and maybe pack sandwiches for my kids. And I don't even know why. And then the neighbor calls and says, I'll take them. And they had their favorite food. You don't have to know, but I will tell you this, the divine will take care of you every step of the way. And the reason we're in physical bodies is because we want to experience ourselves transcendent, divine, in human form. So even in these challenging circumstances, actually most often in these challenging circumstances is when the outside world isn't working for us, that we have to revert to the last resort. Unfortunately, it's lots of times it's our last resort, but at least it is there as a resort will defer to the soul. And when we do, we realize, why didn't we make that our first choice? Why didn't we just go there to begin with? It would have been so much easier. But it's no problem because this is time and spaceless. This is just everything's all good. All of a sudden, the, the present is going to heal the past and make us have a new created future that's amazing and awesome and miraculous. If you get present now with the soul, it can heal the past and everything that brought you to this moment, all the fear and challenges and pain and it will create a new future from here forward. That was then and this was now. The challenge, the accident that he had, that was then. This is now. This is going to bring your entire family into a new realization where now, imagine the mother of a family that's led impeccably by the soul because she had this miraculous experience that brought the whole family out the other side. And then even if she felt uncomfortable kind of thinking this was too woo woo to relate to her husband, who's a very pragmatic, practical guy, she tells him that in this crazy circumstance, the, the way that she could show up so powerfully and strongly and peacefully was because she had this inner guidance telling her and speaking to her and telling her what was the most powerful thing to do. And look how it worked out. Now you don't need to convince anybody. People are just experiencing and living the miracle. And sometimes it's these most challenging circumstances that cause us to ask so sincerely and so deeply for a miracle that we finally listen and we finally surrender to the voice of our own best interest. And we go there wholeheartedly because there's nowhere else to go that feels anywhere near peaceful. So this is the best use of our emotional guidance system, that in the most challenging circumstances, know that the mind can't think peacefully in those circumstances. You've got to go inside and default to a greater self, a greater, more connected, all-knowing self that is the voice of peace. And then you're going to know you're spot on. Your guidance system just brought you home. And that's what it's all about, a return to love over and over. Your guidance system says it's never over 
never done and you're never going to be wrong. It'll always work out that in the end, you're going to know that the divine is all there is and you're finally going to surrender and let it take care of everything. No more need for the challenges and problems and pain just because it's the mode of operandum in the outside world. Admit it now, each and every person here, that you're exceptional, you're a miracle worker, and that your emotional guidance system is intact purposefully and powerfully to have you experience miracles all day, every day. And don't beat yourself up if you're not. Just know that that's your inherent reality and that if you feel a negative emotion, it's just letting you know Come on, get back on the path. It's your little cattle prod. Get back on the path. You deserve more than this. You deserve more than this. Most of our negative emotions are around us feeling unworthy, undeserving, when the, the soul is that you haven't seen nothing yet. You deserve so much more than this. The entire world deserves so much more than this. Pain, problems, fights, all this crazy stuff. None of you came here for that, people. You came here to follow your emotions of peace and bliss and ease and joy. Forget about the negative ones. Just know they're the cattle prod pushing you back on the path to peace.